Hello all. Welcome to my channel today and this is Vinolin, the storyteller. Well, today I am going to share an interesting boxing story highly touted as the rumble in the jungle. Are you incredibly confused? How is jungle related to boxing? Okay, let me take you back to the 1974 super fight which remains one of the most compelling stories in the sports history till date who doesn't know muhammad ali the global icon the legend one hell of a fighter he's a proud black man who forced the world to submit to glorify and to listen to his achievements this heavyweight champion fought in three different decades and was the first man to win heavyweight title three times rumble langman rumble people would yell when he is inside the ring his fights were so memorable and they had names and one popular fight that impressed me is the rumble in the jungle in this mohammed ali and another icon big george foreman face off in an unlikely location in zaire now the dominic republic of congo this event actually put zaire on the map big george foreman then 24 the younger and the stronger of the two was undefeated in 40 fights already and is a human wrecking ball george brutalized his opponents especially he destroyed the strong notton who once broke ali's jaws in one of the matches so foreman appeared undefeatable and the people prayed foreman wouldn't kill ali but ali then 32 had shocked the entire world with punch absorbing strategy and it is called ali's rope a dope victory what is rope a dope technique a boxer stands in a protected position which is ali's classic pose allowing some of the opponent's punches to be absorbed by the rope's elasticity after a few wasted punches the opponent's power will drop throughout the battle now the opponent completely lacks stamina and can be easily knocked out this is how ali executed the rope a dope technique and put it firmly in the iconic uh, athletic techniques after the match ali whispered to foreman that all you got george following the defeat foreman agonized at the devastating event in his life as an athlete the loss was the first of george foreman's professional career and the rumble did not end there 6 months later in an effort to showcase his sheer power and stamina foreman put together a spectacle in toronto where he fought five men in a single night with ali mocking him the entire time at ringside It was weird the epic turned into a psychological horror. Five poor souls were slaughtered and he was greeted by boos along with Ali's trash talk. This event became one of the saddest spectacle and a disappointing outing in sports history. The footage of the Toronto fight is still haunting. After struggling to cope with this loss to Ali Foreman left the sport in 1977 and he found God. Foreman had not trained for 10 years and he was not in his peak physical condition when he stepped back into the ring. His punches now are not brutal anymore but are thrown with purpose. In this rebirth as a different person, Foreman acclaimed the World Heavyweight title again in 1994. His miraculous story is now a film 
the big George Foreman, released on April 28, 2023. Reportedly to this year, Foreman, when traveling the world, people have whispered in his ear from every corner of the earth, Ali, Ali. This is why Rumble in the Jungle is described as the greatest sporting event in the 20th century. This event grossed dollar 100 million revenue with 1 billion people watching. In 1996 Oscars, Ali had difficulty walking to the stage due to Parkinson's disease. And his one-time rival foreman helped him up the steps to receive the Oscar for a documentary, When We Were Kings, made as a tribute to the foreman, Ali Fight. Foreman recently wrote on Twitter, See, we were always friends. That right-hand punch of his was no way to show friendship though. Miss Ali, big time. Hope you enjoy the story. Please share your thoughts about this fight in the comment section below. I will come back with more interesting stories. Until then, bye from Vinolin, the storyteller.